Ah, es un estado. Sí, sí okay. estado. En los Estados Unidos. Montana. No. Es pingüinos y osos. Alaska. Alaska, sí. Okay. A ti. Um, ¿Tu lugar grande? Sí, no. una, o sea, eres una, eres una ciudad. Eres una ciudad. Ok, ciudad. En Europa. En Europa, ok. Sí. ¿No? Ciudad de Las Vegas, algo de ambiente. Ciudad, um, ciudad. ciudad like, Europea. Sí, en Europa. Es, en a? Europa. Ok. Con A. Con A. Con A. Con a. Amsterdam. Sí. 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 All right, everyone. Well, there's some pretty interesting vocabulary in this one here. So let's jump right into it. So in the beginning, uh, it's not overly complicated. Amal's trying to guess her word. She goes, un lugar grande. So just like in the last one, it's essentially saying, am I like a big place? Am I a big location? We said, kind of. We said, eres una ciudad en Europa. Eres una ciudad en Europa. So just like in the last video where we said ciudad, which is city. Um, we said you are a city in Europe. So er Europa is, um, is Europe. The next hint that I think was Rosalba, or maybe me that gave it, I can't remember anymore. One of us gave the hint, which was, which was empieza con A. So empieza con A basically means that your word starts with the letter A. And then Amal was able to get it, and it was Amsterdam. So that part, relatively simple. We then switch back to uh, Rosalba. And uh, Rosalba, it's actually, there's a really quick point where Rosalba says, me toca a mí, so me toca a mí, which basically she's asking, ah, is it my turn, right? So me toca a mí so is asking, is it my turn? Um, and Rosalba word was, uh, Rosalba's word was a doorknob. That was the word that she had on her card. And I actually didn't know how to say that in Spanish. And so what I said was, ah, no sé cómo decir eso en español. So I don't know how to say that in Spanish. So I'm looking this up on my phone and Jaime in the background, our camera person, says to Rosalba, he says, mira la cámara para que te vean. And he actually said something a little bit different. He actually pronounced it slightly differently. He said something more like, mira la cámara pa que te vean. So he didn't say para, he said pa. And basically saying is, ah, Rosalba, look at the camera so that the audience can actually um, so the audience can actually see you. Next, I repeat it. ¿Cómo digo eso en español? I was more talking to myself, like, hey, how do I say this doorknob word in Spanish? And Jaime, I mean, probably just out of, you know, I, I don't know, probably just out of habit or just trying to be helpful, jumps in and, and says, picaporte. So picaporte is one of the words for, for doorknob. And that was kind of funny because all the, you know, the reason we started laughing was because now Rosalba didn't have to guess her word. It was essentially handed to her on a silver platter. So, um, so we're going to switch words for Rosalba in the next video. Um, also, fun fact, another word for picaporte would be manija. So manija or picaporte, those are two different ways to say a doorknob in Spanish. So that is where things stand right now. Uh, we're going to continue this in part four. I hope you're enjoying this series so far, guys. Please subscribe if you've not done so already to keep up with this comprehension. Um, Spanish series and uh, as a score you know as a score is right now we've got uh, I can't really remember what the score is I'm gonna put it on the screen though so you guys can see it so anyway I will talk to you guys later bye for now